Place doesn't hear. He appeared to be reaching for the ignition with his left hand. You can't see below the dashboard. Correct. Okay. But he appeared to be reaching for the ignition where the ignition is located. The radio is in close proximity to the uh, close, ignition. Close proximity is in how? Where, where exactly? Do you know exactly where the radio is within relation to the to the ignition? Did you? I don't, but I believe it's a lot farther over than he would be reaching on the steering column where the ignition is. In any case, um, notwithstanding how the Lincoln Kent Town Car was designed, it's below the dashboard line. The, igni From the ignition is below the dashboard. Okay. Correct? Sure. And it, <clears throat> if for the sake of argument, uh, Mr. Carr's hand was on the ignition, you wouldn't be able to see it. No, I didn't say that I saw his hand on the ignition. Okay. So, again, well, let, let me just refine it. You're speculating that he was going for the ignition. Well, that's what I said. I said I, he appeared to be reaching for the ignition. I didn't say that he was reaching for the ignition. Okay. Uh, and that was with his left hand? Yes. Okay, and let's talk about the right hand. Was he doing anything with that at the time? Well, according to my report, he uh, was restraining her, holding her down. What do you mean by holding her down? Well, restraining, holding her in position. That would be restraining. Was he holding her back against the seat, toward, pushing her towards the passenger seat, forcing her downward towards the floorboard? Can you clarify? Well, there's a, a number of things going on at the time. I mean, he, he shoved her. And he tried to move into the into the vehicle, um, and you know, according to my report, of course, I, that's what I have to go on. Is that he was he was restraining her with his right hand, and uh, then he again shoved her with his right hand, and she went below the dashboard. Let's go back to the restraint. Can you articulate for us in which direction he was exerting force when he restrained her? Uh, I, I want to make sure, and I, I don't mean this disrespectfully. It, 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 is it, my question clear? I was from from. From the way his hand was, I would say that he was exerting force to the south, not towards himself. Okay. Re so relating that, to this diagram, he was towards the passenger force seat. to the passenger seat. Okay. Now, with the initial shove, did it appear to be a forceful shove? Just, uh, just a shove. I don't know whether it was forceful or not. I mean, forceful for uh, one person is different than forceful for another. Did it appear to be violent based on your personal observations? Yes, it appeared to be violent. Okay. Um, and in, that was at 50 feet for clarification. Approximately. Ballpark. Now, you were still running full speed? Mm hmm Okay. Just need to answer yes. Yes. Yes or no for the benefit of the court reporter. Um, just lost my train of thought. Okay, you alluded to a second shove? Yes. Okay, give us a little narrative on that. Uh, this shove to, appeared to, or was again with his right hand. Um, this one actually pushed her into the passenger side of the vehicle, um, at which time her upper body and her head uh, dropped below the dashboard. Was that approximately in the same area where the hat was? Uh, I didn't see where exactly where the hat landed, so <clears throat> it could be, but I don't know. Was that in the same direction where the hat appeared to be flying and where, based on your observations, could have landed? Yes. So she could have been picking up the hat? I could think of easier ways to get to the hat than being shoved towards it. Well, but yes. <laughs> okay, thanks. Um, in your report, you write, um, you observe David force his way into the vehicle. Uh, that's the fourth paragraph second line. Yes. Okay. Did he ever physically enter the car? Yes. Did his feet ever leave the ground? I don't remember if his feet left the ground. He was sitting in the driver's seat. He was seated behind the wheel? Yes, behind the wheel in the driver's seat. Okay. And was he, was he just so I'm clear, he was squarely behind the wheel? Squarely behind the wheel or behind the wheel? Was he just clarify how how he was positioned behind the driver's seat. He he was he was seated in the driver's seat, facing forward, out facing to the, towards the front of the passenger compartment. Okay.
and officer, I apologize for going back and forth a little bit. I just want to go back to the restraint. I, I missed something. When, um, as you uh, stated before, Mr. Carr exerted force to the south towards the passenger seat with Mrs. Carr, do um, you believe that this was done with the intent so that she could not grab the keys? I don't know why he was shoving her okay. to the south. I don't know whether he was trying to keep her from getting the keys or if he was trying to get into the car and get her out of the seat. Okay. Why in the report then does it, uh, for reference for counsel, third paragraph of the narrative, last line, uh, holding her against the seat so that she could not grab the keys? That's what happened. That's what I saw at the time then. Um, I'm sorry I didn't refer to my report again when you asked <laughs> me that question. Um, yeah. Nonetheless, would you agree that that statement involves some degree of speculation on your part? Yes. Okay. Now, when David was um, behind the wheel, if you would, uh, was, Jenny vis was Jenny visible or did she become visible? Um, she was visible part of the time. When he initially sat down behind the wheel, uh, she was still below the level of the dashboard. Uh, at one point, she sat back up. Okay. Um, did she attempt to push David back out of the way? Um, from my position, she appeared to... Sorry, we're just blocking that line. She appeared to uh, attempt to grab his right hand There was uh, by the ignition. Did she put the hat back on her head at that point? I don't recall. Let me see if I have that in my report. I don't know if she put her hat back on um, at that time. I know that when I interviewed her, she did have her hat back on, but I can't testify as to when she actually had put her hat back on. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, you, you stated that it appeared as though Ginny attempted to grab David's right hand. Yes. Okay. And do you know what her intention was for that? I, I don't know what her intention was, but if you read the rest of that sentence you're referring to, um, his right hand was uh, on the side of the steering column that corresponds to the location of the ignition, so uh, I'd make the assumption that she was trying to get his hand away from the ignition. But you could also plausibly assume that she may have been helping him to try and start the vehicle. I think that'd be a stretch. It's, po it's possible. Do you know if Mr. Carr, based on your observation, was turning the key into a... Uh, Forward or backward? When I say backward, I mean into the accessory position. You didn't see it, right? Well, I, I don't you didn't know. see which way he was cranking the key. To my reaction, recollection right now, I don't know. I have to check the report. Okay. Do you have independent recollection of this incident check. other than the report officer? Not a whole lot. Okay. But I, I don't believe I knew whether he was turning it forward or backward. Okay. How far were you away when you observed this? This is in what? When you observed Jenny uh, attempt to grab at David's hand in the area of the ignition. According to my report, I this time was about 10 feet from the vehicle looking in the windshield. Other than grabbing his hand, did you ever observe Jenny at that time attempt to bodily 